Hi everybody, Shannon and Karen with Wandering Out Yonder and today we are in Palo Duro Canyon State Park. We're going to show you some of the campgrounds. There's quite a few of them available here, some with water and electric, some are primitive, tent site only, or you would have to be self-contained to use them, but quite a few campgrounds. Cabins. Cabins and what they call glamping. Yes. So <laughs> Pretty fancy stuff. Actually, there's quite a, quite a few options, mm -hmm. uh, camping options yep. here. And then looking ahead, look how beautiful that canyon wall is. That is just spectacular. Wow. This is right, yeah, it's called the Trading Post, and it's right in front of the glamping area. Right. So this is one of the camping areas in Palo Duro Canyon. This is called glamping. So for those of you who like to glamp, you like things a little bit uh, fancier, I guess. Oh, how cool. Yeah, these are super cool. You'll probably bring yourself some string lights and some really cool decorations and really glamp it out. You can see, you don't even have to bring your own string lights. It has lights all around it. How cool is that? Anyhow, it's these are like dirt paths that take you all to, back through here. There's some picnic areas, um, a bathroom out here in glamping cottages, and they look as though they probably have AC units in them, maybe even heat with electric boxes. But look how pretty the area is down here. You're down in the canyon. Sure. I bet they're a lot of fun. I uh, don't know what the amenities are. I don't think there's bathrooms or anything like that in them. Okay, so a big suggestion for anybody who is coming out to this area is to make your reservations way in advance. Um, this area is really hard to get into as far as making a reservation. I think I made ours. This was one of the stops in our out west trip that we had to work around when we could get into here. So you had what, two, two, or, two or three weeks yep. in advance and there was like two sites left. And that was it? Yep. And when I looked in... And we didn't even get to choose the day. Yeah, we, I just took it because it was the only spot left for two days. So this reservation with the Grand Canyon reservation we had to work our entire trip around, so we really wanted to see this area. So this area evidently floods. There are like warning signs. There is a creek that runs through here. You can see them right here on the road. Yeah, that's, that floods at five feet high here. That's pretty intense. Super cool. Nice camping area. Hmm. Yeah, look at that. Very nice. Yeah, it looks like they have water hookups as well. Water and electric. And some fairly good sized campers are pulled in here. Definitely has a desert feeling. Yeah, you are out in the desert. Super cool. Looks like it has a bathhouse. 
walk to them. All right, that looks like it has a bathhouse right here in the front. Not very big, not huge, so you're not going to be like overcrowded. Anyhow, the skeet camp area, is that what it's called again? Yep. All right, there you go. Now these are called cow camp cabins. All right, and I think Betty. Betting, bet you money these were built by the CCC. And from what I understand, the C, the P, the guys uh, with the CCC live down here. That's why they call it the CCC Trail. It was the trail that they took back and forth daily to do everything that they did in this canyon. So I'll bet you money that if that's what these are. These are probably old. handicapped accessible very very cool I don't know what the accommodations are it looks like they might have fireplaces in them fire pits picnic table right now there's a band burning in effect because of the winds but yeah look at this there's some really really cool areas here to camp yeah looks like you and what can go is. yep cow camp cabins is what it says and you can only use them by permit only, so you would have to get a permit to use them. But yeah, there's some pretty cool areas. Look at, look at this, the rock. Look at that, that cliff, the different shades. Very cool. All right, so this is the Juniper Campground. Like I said, there's quite a few in Wolfberry, it says. This is the pavilion back here, I think, somewhere. So again, you can see some nice, open sites. Wow, look at this. Electric and water mm -hmm. pull through sites and look like they have covered picnic areas with water, electric, lantern hooks. So these are really nice camping areas. You are again though out in the sun, you're out in the open exposed. Um, it is early spring so the leaves have not come out on some of these trees. Even so, they're not great big trees, they're not going to provide too much shade. Alright, so this kind of wraps back around. Alright, so you can see with the mud on the ground, it rains here. Look at that, that's cool. Yep. How that picnic area sits up high. But you can see the mud on the road, so it does flood out here when it rains. So again, just keep that in mind, okay? There's a bathroom to the right. And I'm pretty sure I saw a bath house in the front of the campground. Just a small little area mm -hmm. here. Yep. This is the Juniper campground. And again, you've got some pull through sites over here on the right. They have covered picnic areas. This is the Hackberry Campground in Palo Duro Canyon State Park. And this is the bathhouse and restroom area. Getting ready to check it out.
sinks. And these are the rest bodies. And then it looks like back here is a dual shower area. They look clean. And there is a bit of separation between you and the bathroom, so that's kind of nice. And it looks like we are camping amongst some of the, I think they're called Granville Oaks. Uh, of course, it's early spring, so they don't have their leaves out yet. But yeah, then there's a trail off of our campsite right here. This is the Hackberry campground. You can see they're spaced out pretty good. Pretty level. Some of them have overhangs over the picnic tables. And you get this awesome view of the canyon wall. There's uh, dumpsters probably every five or six sites. Um, I would say 300 feet from each other, so that's that's nice. It's always a pain when you have to hunt out the dumpsters. But yeah, check that out. This is a nice site. This is site 12. Back it in. It's got the canopy over the picnic table, and right there is the wall of the canyon. Really nice site. This one over here too, number 10. Back it in. Wall of the canyon. This is site number nine. This is a huge, huge site. I mean, you could get several vehicles, gazebo, tent, all kinds of extra stuff. And again, canyon wall. Beautiful, beautiful view out your door. And we have noticed several dump stations. Pretty much one at each campground. So this was kind of like their amphitheater. Looks like they definitely do. Uh, probably different talks and such back here. The Texas flag. One thing we've noticed about Texas, boy, they like their flag. I think that's awesome. There's a fire pit in the center there. So definitely for group community gathering. It'd be a great big fire pit. This is down from the uh, little mini theater. I thought this was kind of cool. So this rock, they believe that the natives used to grind or herbs. Very cool. It's an interesting little feature here. So, like I said, we, we were staying at the Hackberry area. Right across the street. There's a trailhead. There are several trailheads right off of the campground, which made it really nice. There being one. So hopefully this video will help you guys decide what type of accommodations you would need if you were to plan a trip to Palo Duro Canyon State Park. They have full hookups, um, tents, cabins, 
or I'm sorry, the glamping tents, cabins, primitive sites, you, you name it, they've pretty much got it. So hope this helps you plan your adventure.